Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2017 Ford Ranger 3.2 TDCI 200 Wildtrak Auto It's done 80,000 miles and it's got full service history with three stamps in the book Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be really popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person As I go around the truck with you today uh, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. We'll have a look in the back, have a look inside, look at the functionality, look at the seats. Um, I'll even tell you what it smells like in there as well. Uh, once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look under there. And then finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. Obviously in the UK it's a little bit easier with just a postcode. Um, if you're looking to finance a truck, we'll ask you to go through an application with us which takes us approximately five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within about an hour. Um, in most cases you'll be asked for a deposit to cover the VAT. Right, so uh, I'm going to start with the bonnet and then we'll work our way around from there. Um, we'll say to you if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, please just ask. I'm more than happy to video, video absolutely anything. At the end of the day, if it saves you a journey or if it makes the buying process easier, then it's a win, isn't it, at the end of the day? Right, so the bonnet is in great condition. Let me zoom out a little bit. There's no obvious dints. It's really nice and clean. Um, a couple of tiny stone chips. You can see that one there. And there's a couple there. And there's one there. Again, they're pinhead size. Nothing serious at all. So, um, <clears throat> driver's side headlight, front bumper, working our way around the grille, onto the passenger side headlight and the front bumper. Uh, there's nothing obvious anyway. So it's got front and rear parking sensors on this one and of course it's got the reversing camera as well which we will look at when we get inside so onto the passenger side wing it's in nice clean condition there's no obvious marks scratches or dints passenger side front wheel and tire wheels in good condition there is a bit of I don't think that's damage. It's a laser cut wheel and they do lift sometimes. It's just that basically, it's lifted a little bit. It's Continental tyre. I'd guess at probably six or seven millimetres as a, as a guess. Uh, the windscreen is in good condition. There is a very small stone chip. Um, obviously that would pass an MOT, no problem, because it's not in the... Um, it's not in the driver's sight, if you like, or the driver's view. But there's nothing else on it. Passenger side mirror back in good clean condition. There's no damage. And the mirror itself is in good clean condition. And there is a very slight scratch. You see it? Just there. Nothing serious, but it is there. So, um, let's zoom out. Look at the pillars. They're in nice clean condition, there's no damage. Right, so let's work our way down to the passenger side. Looking for any marks, scratches or dints. And there's nothing obvious. I'm just work my way back down. And again, there's nothing obvious on there at all. Rear quarter. Is again in really nice clean condition. There's no damage. Passenger side rear wheel and tyre. Wheels in great condition. There is a little bit of a kerb in there. Again, it's a matching continental tyre. A um, bit more tread on this one, I guess, probably 10 mil. And these vehicles are ULES, 
or ultra low emission zone compliant. So it's got add blue, so it's a Euro 6 vehicle. So it's worth mentioning. Passenger side tail light is in good condition, there's no damage. Look at the rear bumper. So the rear bumper has had a bit of a bump. Basically done its job at the end of the day, hasn't it? So, um, zoom that out a little bit. It's had a bit of a whack, nothing serious, but it is there. The rest of it's in good clean condition. It's got a tow bar with a later style electrics. Obviously you'll know that these will tow three and a half ton. Open the tailgate, have a quick look in the back. So it's nice and tidy in the back. There's no obvious damage or marks. It has got a mounting top roll on it. It's in nice clean condition. It's smooth as well, opens no problems at all. Obviously good value for money. These are obviously quite expensive new, so to have one installed, if you need one, then obviously that's a bit of a winner. Tailgate is in nice condition. And there's no obvious marks or dints. As I can see anyway. No, that's all right. Right, so driver's side tail light get my words out driver's side tail light is in good clean condition rear quarter of the tub is in nice clean condition as well there's no obvious marks or dints it's in actually in fantastic condition all around to be fair driver's side rear wheel and tire um it's a good year tire so it's not matching to the other side um Wheels in great condition, there's no damage. Um, I guess there's probably about five or six mil tread. Spoiler's in great condition as well. Let's have a quick look at the roof while we're here. So yeah, the roof's nice and clean. It's free from damage. Everything looks good. Right, so let's start with the pillars again. And they're in nice clean condition, there's no damage. Move back. It's clean, as is the glass. So let's go down the driver's side now. Just looking for any dints, and there's nothing that's obvious. Panel's really clean and straight, and free from damage. Just have one more pass, make sure I've not missed anything. Driver's side is obviously a little bit more susceptible to dings and whatever. So it's always worth just double checking, but no, there's nothing there. Side step's nice and clean as well. So, driver's side front wing. And again, it's in fantastic condition. Really nice and clean. Truck's fantastic, to be fair. Just that one little bit on that rear bumper, which is, you know, at the end of the day, it's a replaceable part. You could get rid of that if you wanted to. Uh, right, so. Driver's side front wheel and tyre, it's a good year tyre, uh, matching to this side. So, I mean, what you could potentially do is just obviously have two axles the same. It's up to you, obviously, at the end of the day, but the wheel's in nice, clean condition and matching tread depth. Right, so um, let's have a look inside. Driver's door card is in nice, clean condition. On your armrest, you've got electric windows times four, your window lock. Then up above, you can lock and unlock the vehicle. Obviously, it's open, so it's not going to do that. Driver's seat is fully electric. Um, we have got a little bit of damage on here. I do see this quite a lot, to be honest with you. Don't know why, but that's slightly cracked. And also, the seat's got a bit of a cracking on the side of it as well. It's a nothing, really, but obviously, it is there. It's um, This panel here, I don't know why they've done it, is the majority of it is leather. And that panel there is like a plastic. So when you're sitting in it and you're sitting in it and you're sitting in it, it cracks. It eventually happens. So the seat is fully electric. It will go forwards. It will go backwards. You can bring it up. You can bring the nose up. Bring the base up. And obviously the backrest will go forwards and backwards as well. Let's just drop that down again because obviously I'm quite tall. Here. 
Uh, bolsters are actually really nice and firm. It's comfortable to sit in. The material is really nice and clean and it's free from damage, as you can hopefully see. Let me jump in. Right, so uh, this one has got just one key. It's a proper key though. Let's start it up. It fires into action straight away, so no problems at all. Um, there's no smoke or anything like that. It just, it, it really runs well. Uh, as you can see, there's no warning lights on the dashboard. That's just there. That's literally my handbrake's on. Uh, other than that, there's no other warning lights at all. Um, steering wheel is nice and clean. It's free from damage. Um, it's in really good clean condition, actually, to be fair. Um, so steering wheel controls this part here, controls this part of the screen here and there's lots of things you can do you can change the display the fuel economy and stuff like that and you can have uh, different displays me personally that's my favorite you've got your revs you've got your fuel and then obviously your temperature of uh, your vehicle as well um, down below is um, your cruise control and then the left hand side is basically the same thing so uh, on the left hand side of the screen is that one and you can have entertainment you can have navigation or you can have your phone on there um, then the lower part is basically your media center so you can bring your volume up as you can see or down um, voice command uh, you've got your mute button and then you can also answer your phone and hang up from there as well um, so that leads me on to the media center so a good place to start so I'm going to be reversing camera first um, the reversing camera is really clear it's really very clear um, obviously you've got your tow bar on there so you've got your lines which obviously does help also you'll notice on the little vehicle it's got you can't really see very well but it's got two little fans front and rear so when you are going to uh, reverse against a wall for instance you'll notice how far away you are and it not only the visual but also you've got the audible and also the fan on there as well um, the home screen of the navigation or the home screen of the media center if you like to the left hand side is always your navigation uh, and then to the right hand side is um, let's go back to home sorry to the right hand side is your audio which is off obviously at the moment your mobile phone and then your heated seats and then your menu is down below so um, navigation very similar to um, your uh, mobile phone where you can pinch in, zoom out and you can move it and as you'll see it's really fluid, it works very similarly to uh, your mobile phone and um, what I quite like is um, if approximately where you're going so you need Nottingham but your postcode doesn't work what you can actually do is you can go to the specific road use the target click on start and it will actually go to it um, from there um, audio if you click on the audio button it says work. so if you click on sources it gives you the display of obviously all your different items you might AM FM DAB your CD player and your Bluetooth audio um, if you go to your DAB, you've got pre-populated list of uh, presets. Climate control, um, you've probably noticed it's on. It is quite warm today. If you bring it down to low, which is dual zone climate control. Um, the air conditioning is on and it is cold. So it is blowing cold. It is very cold actually. It works perfectly. Um, I'm not going to switch it off because it is actually quite warm today it down to a medium so it keeps me cool um you've obviously got your phone you can pair a phone from there your navigation and you've, you've seen that um it's got applications because i think on this one yeah it has it's got um apple carplay and android carplay as well so it's got the later system with wi-fi as well um so you plug your basically phone in using the usbs down below here and you get your Apple CarPlay on your Android CarPlay. Don't know anything about Android CarPlay, but Apple CarPlay is really cool. Works really well. Um, obviously, all your voice command, all your settings and everything in there as well. It's also got ambient lighting in the vehicle. You can't really see it today because obviously it's quite light, but it's dark. 
and it's got lots of little LEDs around the vehicle and you can choose different coloured lighting, mood lighting if you like. It's just a, a quirky little extra, but it's quite good. Um, it's got a six speed automatic gearbox, manufacturer states about 30 miles per gallon, which I think is about an average to be honest with you. It's going to depend on how you drive. Um, switchable four wheel drive, parking sensors, stability control and hill descent. Um, cup holders in the front as well. Oh, hang on. Phone's having a second. Yeah, cup holders in the front here. Um, armrest with cup holder, with cup holder, with coin holder. Um, also, you'll see, hopefully, if I can get my camera down, there's a black vent there. That's an air vent. So when your air comes on, yeah, so when it's painting that way, um, the air conditioning comes in uh, through that vent there. So I mean, it's not a fridge, but um, if you could put your cans of drinks in there or you could put your sandwiches in there or whatever, and it will obviously keep them nice and cool for you for when you want to use them. Um, the armrest itself is nice and clean. It's free from damage. The whole truck's really clean, to be honest with you. Um, passenger seat. Bolsters are very firm. The material's really nice and clean. Um, if I was a gambling man, I don't think anyone's really sat in that, to be honest with you. Obviously, these trucks, because of the VAT um, and the fact that you can obviously claim everything back, um, a lot of them are predominantly used for uh, commercial, uh, for company cars, basically. So uh, people use them, claim all the VAT back, everything, and obviously use them like that. So generally speaking, not many people probably sat in that one, to be fair. Um, dashboard is really nice and clean and it's free from any damage everything looks spot on um roof lining is really very clean there's no issues there at all there's no damage and there's no smells either it just smells nice um doesn't smell like it's been smoked into me um, i am an ex-smoker and you can always i don't know why but you can always pick up on smells of cigarettes for some reason but yeah, it doesn't smell like it's been smoked into me at all. Um, what else? 12 volt sockets down here. Yeah, everything's just spot on. Um, electric folding mirrors are here, mirror control, um, rear light if you've got one, optional obviously. Then obviously all your lights are on there, to be honest with you, you may as well just stick it on automatic and be done with it, which is that one. And obviously the lights will just come on when you, when you need them switch the engine off pop the bonnet which is just here we'll get to that in a few minutes in the rear door cards again really nice and clean free from damage electric windows in the back and um, the seats in the back are really clean and there are a couple of signs of use very light markings there small crack in the paint but nothing serious at all uh, but the seats are really very clean so hopefully you can see really nice option in the back it's got the 230 volt plug so i don't know what you'd use it for charging your phones or you can have a playstation in there if you really wanted yeah it looks spot on smells nice in the back as well these seats do lift up. There we go. Get it up. And you've got cubby holes under there as well. And they do come forwards as well. And in the back, you've got your tool roll at the top and then a jack at the bottom. And again, everything's really nice and clean. Okay, so let's have a look under the bonnet. Okay, so fluids clean and to the correct levels. Oh, excuse me. No signs of any historic oil leaks around the turbo units or the camera or around the engine. There's no signs of any historic oil leaks at all. Um, as you can see, we've not cleaned this. I know it looks a bit wet in places. That's just where we've washed it, but you can see from that we don't wash them that's just how it's come 
So we're not trying to hide anything or anything like that. You can see that it's not been cleaned anyway. It's obvious, isn't it? It's got an original Ford Motor Company battery on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice and clean under there. There's no signs of any historic oil leaks at all. All the fluids are clean into the correct levels as well. So yeah, obviously this one's just outside of manufacturer's warranty anyway. Um, but yeah, you can tell obviously when they've been uh, owned in this way, they have been looked after at the end of the day. And obviously the service history shows that as well as the actual uh, physical condition of the vehicle as well. Right, so let's have a quick look underneath. Again, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything's really nice and clean and dry. Chassis is nice and clean. And this is the rear diff. And the spare wheel. I think that's an alloy, I can't tell from here. But it's a full size and it's got a full size spare on it, a full size tire on it as well. Okay, so um, hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person. And um, probably a little bit too much, but I'd rather show you too much than not enough. So thanks for watching with me, I really appreciate it. Any questions, any problems, if you want to see anything else, give us a shout, it's no problem at all. But for the moment, thanks for watching, stay safe, bye-bye.